Hello friends, welcome back once again. So today's video is divided into two parts. The first part is how I deep clean my fridge and the second part is the DIY part that is the making of the fridge mat. So if you are here to watch the making of the fridge mat then you may directly switch to it will be somewhere here there yeah I just thought that this video might be helpful for some people and you may be one of them so stay tuned and watch till the end it's time for cleaning first of all disconnect the power supply let's declutter all this stuff now We are just two members in a family so we do not have much food items to store plus we haven't done our shopping yet for this week. This is the reason we have a small fridge yet it looks spacious. So we are done with decluttering. I am removing the shelves now. We usually wipe the shelves on an everyday basis so this is an important step whenever we deep clean our fridge. It's hygienic and we feel satisfied. I am collecting the shelves now and I'll take them outside for cleaning. I'm cleaning it with the normal dishwasher. I am using a brush wherever it is necessary. Since my basin area is quite small, so I like cleaning outside in an open space. I'm done with the cleaning part. I'll let them dry outside for some time before I put it back. So now we'll be preparing a solution for cleaning the fridge. So we'll be using one slice of lemon, sodium bicarbonate, and a half glass of lukewarm water. So I'll make the solution now. So let's go. So the lukewarm water is ready and I'm squeezing lemon into the lukewarm water. I'll be using this as a scrubber so I'll keep it aside. Now let's add half spoon of baking soda. Stir it well till it gets dissolved properly. We will need a pair of cotton cloth for wiping the fridge. Let's start scrubbing the stains with the lemon cover. Now start wiping the whole body with the prepared solution. I'm gonna clean the other side now. I'm gonna remove the refrigerator door sill now. It is also known as gasket. Uh, here I just want to mention that everyone has their own process of cleaning the gasket. In my case, I like taking it out completely and then cleaning it. Note that you should remove it carefully. 
I know it looks gross but this has to be done and I needed to capture it to show you. So you can see the dirt inside when the gasket is removed and this is the reason why I like cleaning it by removing it. I'm done cleaning with the inside of the fridge so I'm gonna clean the gasket outside since it's quite dirty and it will take time. I have cleaned the gasket and it looks better than before. After a little break, I'll be putting back the gasket now. For the last time, let's wipe the fridge with a dry cotton cloth. Let's wipe the outside of the fridge as well. I'm gonna fix the shelves now. I have fixed all the shelves, it looks clean. So we have reached the part 2 of this video, here we are going to make some fridge mats. I found a flex banner in my storeroom so I am gonna utilize it and make it a fridge mat. Let's fold it and cut it in the size of the shelf. This will be used for the two bigger shelves and you can see that I have trimmed the borders as well. I'll make more for the smaller shelves, for this one and the upper mini shelves. We can also use these files as a fridge mat. I will show you. I am highlighting the borders with the help of this marker. I'm not going to use the marker here because it's already very colorful. Let's cut out the upper part and the borders. We will use the plain one for the smaller shelves. Everything is ready now so let's start placing it. At first I am placing the white mats made out of flax. And now I'll be placing the mats made out of files. Similarly, we'll start placing it on the other shelves as well. The idea behind this is to prevent the fridge from getting any stain, like this one it is quite difficult to remove now. 
and the work is complete so from next time this is going to save my time as well as my energy whenever I clean it I'll put the stuff inside now this is what I often do I'm gonna put a slice of lemon for one night so that it gives a fresh aroma so this video was all about how I deep clean my fridge and of course sharing the DIY part with you. Yeah, that's all for today. Thank you for watching.